Welcome back to Triple R Backyard Grilling. Before we get started, don't forget our main ingredients, your nice cold beer. In today's video, I'm going to show you how I make my fire roasted salsa. For the ingredients for today, you will be using six tomatoes, four jalapenos, garlic clove, cilantro, green onions, salt and pepper, garlic powder if you desire more, more garlic taste, and of course your olive oil. Let me finish up. I've already had a couple that I've done and as you can see I have a little bit of olive oil already in my hand. So I do to get a nice good coating on the tomato. Same thing on the jalapeno. Now that these are done they're ready for the grill so we'll meet you outside. You can see these uh, tomatoes, jalapenos, and the garlic on the grill. So why don't you guys follow me and we'll get them, uh, get them put in. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and get these on the grill so that way they can start uh, charring, getting that smoky flavor. Nothing like uh, eating uh, fire roasted salsa. Once they start uh, starting to char, we'll turn them, uh, turn them over until we get a nice full char all the way around the, uh, the jalapeno tomato. All right, guys, it's uh, probably been about uh, 10 minutes. So now we're just gonna check the tomatoes right now. Uh, looks like they're getting uh, nice and uh, roasted. Uh, you can see that they're starting to kind of come out of the skin a little bit already. So uh, what you do is just uh, just turn it over like that, and it should be in, in good shape. Nice char that we're getting. Probably leave them on for another maybe 10 15 more minutes and we should be uh, good to go looks like their uh, jalapenos and the uh, garlic and the uh, tomatoes are ready to go so we'll get them pulled off as you can see they smell great uh, smokiness you can smell that uh, that char from the jalapenos and also from the tomatoes so we'll get these off look how soft they look they smell great So now we'll go inside, now we got them off, we're going to go inside and put everything together. Okay guys, as you can see, we're back inside. Uh, we have our uh, jalapenos, uh, tomatoes, and the uh, garlic. So what we're going to do now is we're going to sweat them. You can, if you'd like, you can put them in a Ziploc bag to sweat them. Of course, I ran out of Ziploc bags. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the oil. So we're just going to cover the, uh, the tomatoes and the jalapenos and the garlic and let them sweat uh, for about, maybe about five minutes. In the meantime, as they're sweating, we're gonna chop up the cilantro and chop up the green onions, and then we'll come back and put everything together.
All right, guys, as you can see, we have some of our tomato, jalapeno, and garlic already chopped up in the bowl. I uh, have a few more to do. Uh, I'll show you how I normally just chop it up, and then I will start mixing everything in, and we'll be ready to start blending. Uh, on your jalapeno, I just cut the cap off, uh, split it basically down the middle, as you can see, uh, the veins and everything. Uh, just grab your knife, go down the middle of it, take all the vein, and take the uh, seeds out. And so what I do is I just kind of cut down the sides, cut it into smaller pieces, and then just throw it in the bowl. And on your tomato, I just end up, instead of corn it, I just cut the little end off and just do a rough chop on it, as you can see. And then I get that in my bowl. So now, that's what we end up doing. We will add our cilantro and you could use you know whatever amount you want if you like a little bit more with that cilantro taste you know you can add more or you can add less uh, we love the cilantro taste so you know we usually use a, a, a bushel uh, on green onions I have I think I ended up using uh, four green onions so like I said if you like it less if you like it more it's it's, a, it's up to you your desired taste and we add that to the uh, to the bowl also and that's what I do is on your lime we did do half a lime now get that squeezed in there get that ready and now to blend your your fire roast salsa if you'd like you can use it in the food process or you could use a blender I have my handy hand blender and I really love this thing uh, to me like I said it depends if you like it chunky if you like it a little bit more thinner restaurant style it's basically up to you we like it a little bit thicker and uh, for the um, salsa to cut up a little bit smaller. But like I said, uh, let's get this blended and we'll show you the final product. Alright guys, here we are. We got everything blended. We're going to salt, pepper uh, to taste. And then what we're going to do is we'll put it together and we'll be coming back with the final product. Alright, here we are uh, with the final product. And we finally have our fire roasted uh, salsa. It smells great. Uh, you can definitely smell that uh, that smokiness, the the char flavor, and we also paired it up with uh, our uh, chives and guacamole, and our favorite uh, tortilla chips. So let's dive into it, and I can give you a uh, a little bit of an opinion on how our fire roasted salsa comes out. Wow! You can definitely taste the sweetness the smokiness and some of the char i think my family's going to go crazy for this fire roast salsa if you want a little bit more salt a little more lime by by all means you know you you make it to your your own recipe to your own taste so like i said great salsa hey guys i hope you enjoyed the the fire roast salsa recipe if you enjoyed it by all means please hit the subscribe button and give us a thumbs up for next week we'll be doing beer can chicken with white barbecue sauce it's killer so by all means come back next weekend have a great rest of your day and we'll see you next round